All right, I'm going to show you some techniques with cardboard that you can use that do not require tape and glue. First thing I want to remind you about is scoring. We hold our scissors like this, and you drag, and it will cut through the top layer of cardboard. I'm always keeping my hand off to the side. That way I do not hurt myself. I'm going to add a few more. All right, so then the nice thing about scoring is that you can bend your cardboard. This is a great way to make a cardboard tube. If you don't actually have a tube, you can make one yourself. And we'll do something with this in just a second. So if you wanted to insert the tube into something, we're going to use scoring to make holes in the cardboard. And I'm going to put another piece of cardboard underneath, one that I don't care about. And I'm going to measure how big I want this space to be. So drawing it first will be helpful. And then I'm going to use my scissors to score, turning it as I work so that I don't hurt myself by accident. And then you could also pick it up. I've got another piece of cardboard underneath. I'm keeping my hand safely over here. So you can actually saw with the edge of your scissors as long as you're keeping the blades closed. If that's too difficult to do, keep scoring, keep scoring, keep scoring. Once I've scored, remove that cardboard, I have that space. Then I can put my tube through the cardboard. And because it's adjustable, I can open it up some more or make that tube smaller depending on what I need. And that will stay inside there. The next thing I wanted to show you was using notches to hold cardboard together. So I'm going to score and bend. This makes it easier to cut the cardboard. If you always score first, a lot easier to cut the cardboard. Score and bend. And then if I want to use notches, I can cut little triangles. You could also cut small rectangles. And then those two spaces, you can put it together, and those will stay notched like that. The other thing I wanted to show you was how we can attach things together by weaving with cardboard. So if I need to make some holes in here first, I'm going to weave a piece of cardboard like this. The first thing I need to do is punch some holes. So you can use a hole punch. If you're trying to weave some holes in the middle, then we're going to use a technique called drilling. So I'm going to put another piece of cardboard underneath. I'm going to hold the scissors closed, and I'm going to push down, and I'm going to twist. And I can lift that up and twist my scissor blades, making sure my hand is safely on the side. So that second piece of cardboard underneath is a good idea. So now I have that, and if I'm going to attach this piece, I'm going to make some marks where I want the next spaces to go. So I use my pencil. And I'm going to drill these next ones. Remember, I'm keeping my hand away from the tip of the scissors. And then I cut some thin pieces of cardboard, and you can bend them to make them softer, and they're going to feel almost like a piece of string once you've bent that cardboard back and forth. Then what I can do is thread it through the hole, thread this through the hole, I need to cut that end a little bit smaller, and 
And then this is pliable enough, that means bendable enough, that I can actually tie that piece of cardboard on. Or I could also just keep weaving it. But you can cut more strips and you can connect pieces that way.